right, now here's what I'm looking at. Oh, wow, that system's really neat, isn't it? Yeah. And it runs quite a few different tests, but it just doesn't do much diagnosis. Mm. See, test results aren't going to help my technicians if they don't know what to do with them. Well, you're the service manager. You're the guy that has to live with the system. What do you think? <laughs> okay, next. How about this system? The dealership across the street got this one a while ago. John, I don't want to get it just because the guy across the street got it. The question is, is it working out? Uh, now that you mention it, their service manager says sometimes they have to wait six months before he gets no software way. in the new car. No, no. Hmm. Now we're going to have to forget this one, too. It takes six cables and all kinds of adapters just to hook it up. The setup's going to take as long as the repair. Look at this. You can forget about this one. For the price of this system, it ought to balance my books for me, too. And now think of it. I've already got a computer to do that for me. Why can't any of these machines work with all the computers we already have around here, anyway? I don't know. I guess none of these are really what I need, but, you know, with all the new electronics on cars, my tech needs something. What is that? John, I, I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing. What are you seeing? John! Oh, I see a machine in my office. I think I can help you. Uh, correction, boss. I uh, see and hear a machine in my office. I said hello. Can't you hear me? Uh, yeah, hello. Yeah, sure, we can hear you. It's just that, uh, what are you? For now, you can call me the service-based system, and I'm being developed to meet your diagnostic needs. Because I'm being designed jointly by Chrysler Motors and IBM, I'll be compatible with existing Chrysler computer systems and future ones. I'll also work with other IBM compatible systems, including those that you may already have in your dealership and those that you might buy in the future. Wait a minute. Do you mean that you'll be able to communicate with Pays, Dial 2, and the in-dealership system that I already have? That's right, and that's something those other machines can't do. I'm also being designed with open architecture for easy upgrades, unlike most other test equipment. Open architecture? What does that mean? Well, John, the most important thing it means is that I'll be around for a long time. Because instead of being replaced, I'll be constantly upgraded. It means that as cars change from year to year, I'll change with them. Oh, you notice the DRV, too. Unlike other machines, I'm designed to work with that, too. In fact, the DRV, too, is how I interface with, or as you humans say, talk to the car. Instead of using a box full of cables, the technician just hooks up the DRV, too. The DRB2 is a great tool, but your technicians still need printed technical material to help them diagnose and fix problems. I'll be able to eliminate this and still provide your technicians with everything they need. How did it do that? I don't know, but uh, sure sounds good. <laughs> I'm being designed to give them the latest diagnostic routines, procedures developed by Chrysler service engineers that can help your technicians fix problems right the first time. I'll also be able to provide technical information, complete with illustrations. And you won't have to wait until the next time something is printed for an update, because my design will allow me to be programmed with the latest information. Eventually, I'll have the ability to do even more. Chrysler and IBM are working on a feature called Echo, so that I'll be able to let experts in the zone office, or even in Detroit, help a dealership technician tackle a really tough problem by viewing the same information the technician is seeing on his screen. It will be just like they're sitting in on every step of the procedure. What other diagnostic tool can provide a team of Chrysler experts to back up your service technicians? Let me have this back and I'll show you what else I'll be able to do. Do you ever have problems with intermittent faults? You mean problems that come and go? They're the worst kind. Seems like a technician can never get the car to repeat the symptoms the customer complains about. And the customer always blames the dealership because the technician can't fix what he can't find. Well, Chrysler is designing me so that I'll really be able to help with those problems by turning the DRB2 into a flight recorder. The technician will just hook it up to the car and go for a road test. The DRB2 will collect all the information I need to analyze the problem. Now, that's something I know other machines can't do. You're getting the idea, John. The fact is, Chrysler is expanding the use of onboard diagnostics to include not only the powertrain, but also body and chassis electronics, including systems like ignition, fuel delivery, anti-lock brakes, passive restraint systems, automatic load leveling, vehicle lighting, door locks, adjustable suspension, 
vehicle information, and more, and they'll all be integrated. IBM is working with Chrysler so that I'll not only be able to learn and expand my diagnostic capabilities, I'll have the ability to upgrade the electronics on the car. Technicians won't have to replace computers because I'll be able to reprogram them. Look, that's all really impressive, but I'm more interested in knowing exactly how you're going to improve my bottom line. That's easy. I'll be able to improve your technician's efficiency. Look at all the things a technician has to do besides working on the car. Looking up diagnostic procedures, referring to technical service bulletins, getting technical information from the service manuals, even standing in line to order a part so that he can finish a job. I'll be able to help with all of that by providing diagnostic and service information right here on my screen. And that includes the latest bulletins that may apply to a particular problem. By talking to your parts computer, I'll even be able to let the parts department know what the technician needs. What other test equipment can do all that? I don't know. This, it sounds too good to be true. Yeah, for one thing, John has 14 service technicians in his department. Now, how are they all going to be able to use just one computer? I'm glad you asked. Chrysler and IBM are designing an option called the Filer Workstation System that allows all your technicians to access one main filer unit from workstations in their service bays. That means you don't have to buy a complete standalone system for every technician. Even if you start out with only one standalone unit, you can add workstations later. Wait a minute, we've got more questions. Don't worry, you'll be hearing from me again soon. And in the near future, I'll be coming to stay. So warm up an outlet for me. All over the country, dealers and service managers like John and Hank are faced with tough decisions about buying diagnostic equipment. With the increasing use of electronic systems on today's cars and the growing concern over customer satisfaction, service departments need diagnostic equipment that will improve technicians' efficiency, customer satisfaction, and dealership bottom line profits. That's why Chrysler Motors has joined with IBM to develop this system that will finally fill the requirements of dealership service operations. We're designing equipment that will work with the vehicle's onboard diagnostic systems, developed by Chrysler Engineering. We're giving it the capabilities you need today and the ability to grow so that it will still serve you for years to come. And we're working with IBM, the best in the business. Together, we'll offer complete training for your people and service support for the system once it's installed. After an extensive field test, SBS will be available for your dealership. We'll continue to update you on our progress and keep you informed about the system. Once you've examined the complete capabilities of this system, you'll realize that anything else is incomplete. Don't spend your equipment dollars on pieces until you've seen the whole system that only Chrysler and IBM can deliver. By the way, It'll be here in January.